in 5.1. And this is the output generated. I'm really shocked by this primarily because not just how good the image is, look at the reflection and look at the hand. Hey guys, so it looks like Midjourney dropped yet another major update, um, specifically for version 5. Just released version 5.1, which is a more opinionated model like a V4, and it's much easier to use with shorter prompts. And we'll learn about what this effectively means over the uh, video itself. There's also an unopinionated mode, which is similar to version 5 where you have to give out more details about the image that you want to generate. So version 5.1 basically allows you to do detailed and highly realistic generations with smaller prompts. These are the basic set of improvements. So coherence is higher, accuracy to text prompts, fewer unwanted borders or text artifacts, and improved sharpness. And this is a guide on how to enable this, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to kind of set this up. There are two more updates if you're interested to kind of you know, go ahead and take a look at this. Into the setup itself, if you are interested in generative AI, consider joining our Discord group. Uh, if you want to stay ahead in all the updates that are happening so frequently in the world of generative AI. Now let's get into how to kind of set this up and we'll run this across five prompts. See the kind of output version 5.1 generates with smaller prompts, right? So in order to firstly enable this, just type settings. Uh, after you type settings, you will be able to see something like this, where you have to choose version 5.1. You can either choose it here or just use uh, instead of version 5 in your prompt. There are other things here and you can go ahead and check it out if you want, but we're going to be looking at specifically version 5.1. The method to run this also does not change. So if you look at um, the prompt, it's very similar. So you just copy the prompt, just type imagine. You paste it here. You can either mention version 5.1 here or enable it by default. So uh, if you have enabled it by default, you can just put your prompt like this. If you want to test these prompts out, I'm going to add these in the description. Regardless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the, the, I'm going to run these six prompts and show you the output we get from the model. You can see these are relatively shorter prompts, which longer prompts that would be generally be used in order to generate highly realistic images so back and see the kind of results we get in order to kind of save you some time i've already generated these images and i've opened these across the tab first one is a cute woman in a red dress is facing you underwater photo hyper realistic and enchanted environment cinematic and details 4k epic and version 5.1 and this is the output generated i'm really shocked by this primarily because not just how good the image is look at the reflection and look at the hand. You can the reflection is built, you know, not completely correct. The way which you can see the hair being reflected, the color being reflected looks very, very uh, real. This one too looks very good. Um, this one kind of looks does not look uh, underwater, so not really. Don't really think there's done a great job here. But the rest three images look pretty, pretty awesome. I also generated one more variation of this. Um, and these ones look pretty good too, right? So this one does not look like underwater, uh, but these three look great. Next, what I tried is, you know, a pair of Adidas shoes with seashells on top of it. Silver sculpture by Emilia Carroll, dribble contest winner, etc. So this is the output it generates. And what I'm shocked with is the reflection on the shoe. You can see the ground is being reflected on the shoe, especially uh, this part, right? It's pretty scary, the kind of reflection you see on the shoe itself. If you look at this shoe, you can see the branding of Adidas here, the branding of Adidas here. Um, so it's kind of taken care of those intricate details. Similarly here, you can see there's a reflection. Um, and then this one too is good because you can see the logo here. Overall, I'm really impressed uh, by how little detail I gave to the model and the generation the model was able to put together for me. Next, we tried women standing on top of a red tulip National Geographic photo, wide lens, angle miniature model. So the expectation here would be that it would look more like a wild capture. While uh, the models in the photo don't really look like, they don't really look real. Seems like some sort of cartoon. And these three are not even on top of a tulip, but this one looks good. Uh, overall, I'm not really convinced with this generation. Um, I don't know how Midjourney V5 or V4 generates, but I don't think I'm convinced with this one. Um, in general, what I've also noticed is that when you generate images that have a longer range, 
you would miss out on a lot of intricate details and it's possible because the noise would then distort the overall generation so the next prompt was around uh, meteor shower in the sky and again i'm not convinced with this generation either because you can see there's a sun here uh, there's a sun here meteor shower wouldn't necessarily be on a bright day like this right so there's also a dawn there's also dawn happening here this one looks great but the other three generations are okay so what realism looks pretty great one thing that you should also kind of pay attention to is the fact that the prompts are very short, relatively shorter compared to the ones that you'd want to you know you would want to feed in order to generate hyper realistic generations okay so next we tried uh, people standing next to a spaceship and album cover by lucas zimmerman featured on art station futurism 1980s utopian art futuristic and um, the generation overall looks great what i don't feel convinced with is the faces maybe this is how the art is but um, you can see the person trying to peek above the head of this person which seems highly realistic but the faces are all messed up uh, you can see this guy wearing some sort of star trooper helmet of sorts so while the generation overall looks like a good art piece i don't think um, it's done complete justice to the face of the image finally we tried a woman riding a hoverboard on top of a holographic background neon noir art by joseph bevard and let's see the kind of output we get um overall i'm convinced with the output you can see the faces are still not correctly done um across all these images maybe it's just the matter of upscale but the generation uh, with respect to the prompt i had given looks great and i'm convinced uh, with the kind of generation it has done the model has done and overall that's all i kind of wanted to talk through the video itself i personally feel that version 5 is still my go to model uh, it is okay if i have to give out detailed prompts but if i'm not able to generate great outputs in version 5.1 reduces your effort to write detailed prompts but it kind of also you to that lack certain elements of realism right so i prefer using version 5 still but um if you're someone who wants to try it out and maybe i'm missing out some part of detail here so feel free to kind of drop your comments with respect to what you feel about the model but going to be it for the video guys thank you so much and have a good one